Well, Pep, it was a game you had control of, a grip of throughout, really. Did you enjoy it because of that? Yeah, I enjoy it. Uh, I'm delighted with the performance, the way we played, and the consequence for many good things. Uh, we are back and yeah, against one team, you know, Leicester so far. So one of the teams concede less goals and <laughs> we create a lot. So we played really good. What was the key to that then, that really good performance you talk about? Well, I was, you know, go forward, go forward and go forward. So don't, don't look what happened behind you and go forward. And, and especially with the ball play, so, so simple. Uh, we can back this fact, uh, the fact that don't make every action incredible, <coughs> incredible action. So play simple is the, the reason why the team can play good. And sometimes every player want to do something special in the action. Today, you just have the ball, pass the ball, have the ball, pass the ball, and the rest come, come along. I think you enjoyed that performance a lot more than you enjoyed the Arsenal one last week, didn't you? Yeah, much more. Much more, yeah, yeah. Last, last game we won for, uh, like today, the, Kevin De Bruyne is uh, something spectacular, and he won the game for us. But the game was not not. Uh, we have we expect to be competitors until the rest of the season. I mean, Kevin De Bruyne has always been very, very good. But his, is he finding another level right now? Since we were together, always playing incredible. Unfortunately, the season was many times injured, but uh, his commitment, his mentality and in playing this position when you can play more forward <laughs> and, and can do these actions, is, he sees something, the third goal is, is, is stop. So, yeah, he's a, a spectacular player. Can you talk about that position that he plays in? It seems like maybe you're using <coughs> him slightly differently in recent weeks, a bit more further forward. No, we play in one way defensively, but uh, <coughs> can... <coughs> To for the quality of our players we have, and we try to <coughs> we try to lead them a little bit free, play more up front. Don't think too much in because he run a lot, he help us a lot, but not in position like we have to defend really really tight and focus all the time, and and that's why that's why he played incredibly well the last the last games. Kevin also said in his interview that maybe that was the best City performance of the season defensively from. Top to bottom, is he right? I um, completely agree. Normally, I'm not agree with my players, but <laughs> this what was so good about it defensively? In this case, in this case, we we are making an exception, like Rocio Marsh, uh, because everybody. So our team can play good or bad, but we run a lot and do it with the quality of the players they have, and after is the you know the difference. Does this? I mean, it'd probably be ridiculous to stand here and talk about catching Liverpool. But does this kind of performance make you think at least that you can string the wins together? You can have a great run like you've done in the last couple of years. When when we lose, it, we are a disaster and it's impossible. And when we win, we can catch it. So come on. So. But what what do you think then? Do you think right well, long-term yeah, target? We are one point behind Leicester. So we have one point behind. We are third. So we were seven points two days ago, and, and now we are one point. It's good. So what I want to see is see my team trying to play and with and without the ball in that way. That is what I want. And, and after that, when one team, 70 games, 60 victories and, and, and one draw, <laughs> it just heads off. So we have one less point than Madrid and Barcelona. They are leading in Spain. So the, the games and the results and our way we played, it was more than decent. It was quite good this season. But maybe we miss this kind of energy that we had today and uh, with our fans. and just to continue. So <laughs> we know that is our identity. If we are able to do it, we can compete uh, with everyone. <coughs> Last one. What was it like being on the touchline without Mikel Arteta this evening? <laughs> well, a little bit different, honestly. So it was three years and a half together and it was incredible. You missed him? It was an incredible help for me, uh, for the team, not, not for me, for the team. So he was an important person for, uh, for the success we had in these this years. He was a key, key, key person, but I wish him all the best. And of course, we have Rodo and Loren and Nico and Carlos Planchar that he helps me a lot in these last weeks because Carlos is a person who are together since 11 years ago. So in every meeting, in every game, he was there. And we talk a lot this, this week and he helped me a lot to, he helped me a lot to, you know, to, to understand what is the situation and, 
and try to do our best. Thank you, Pep. You're very welcome.